Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we have learnt the hydration, miscellaneous reactions and a summary of phase 1 reactions of drug metabolism. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. To watch the other topics of drug metabolism and other subjects of pharmaceutical sciences, click on the links given in the description box below this video. In this lesson, we shall try to understand the first type of phase 2 conjugation reactions of drug metabolism that is the conjugation of sugars which include the glucuronidation and glucosidation reactions. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand the glucuronidation and glucosidation reactions of phase 2 drug metabolism. It is to note that the major route of sugar conjugation is glucuronidation although conjugation with glucose, xylose and ribose are also possible, less common particularly in man. Glucuronidation Glucuronidation is a major and very frequent reaction of phase 2 drug metabolism. It is the conjugation reaction where a wide range of drugs containing alcohol, phenol, carboxylic acids, amines, hydroxylamines, sulfonamides and thiol groups can undergo glucuronidation. The products produced from these reactions are called glucuronides. These reactions are catalyzed by microsomal enzymes called UDP glucuronyl transferases and they require a cofactor known as uridine 5 diphospho alpha deglucuronic acid which is abbreviated as UDPGA or uridiphosphate glucuronic acid. These enzymes are found in the liver but also occur in many other tissues including kidney, intestine, skin, lung and brain. The glucuronidation reaction is clinically significant because of several reasons which include number one a readily available supply of deglucuronic acid which is derived from deglucose. Number two numerous functional groups that mentioned in the previous slide that can combine enzymatically with glucuronic acid. And number three, the glucuronyl moiety which when attached to xenobiotic substrates greatly increases the water solubility of the conjugated product with its easily ionizable carboxylic acid which possesses pKa of 3.2 and 3 hydroxyl groups. Mechanism of glucuronidation Formation of beta-glucuronides involve several steps. In the first step, alpha deglucose 1-phosphate undergoes phosphorylation by phosphorylase enzyme to an activated coenzyme form that is uridine 5-diphospho alpha deglucose abbreviated UDPG. Uridine is a combination of uracil and ribose sugar. When uridine is attached to the phosphate group, then it is called uridine diphosphate. The UDPG is then oxidized by UDP glucose dehydrogenase enzyme to the actual coenzyme UDPGA, that is uridine 5 diphospho alpha deglucuronic acid in step 2. The glucuronic acid is a hydrophilic molecule. In this reaction, the sixth carbon atom of the initial product UDPG is oxidized to a carboxylic acid in UDPGA. In the last step, the glucuronyl group is transferred to the substrate that is the drug acceptor molecule by microsomal enzymes called UDP glucuronyl transferases to the formation of beta glucuronides. It is to note that the activated UDP glucuronic acid contains deglucuronic acid in the alpha configuration at the anomeric center that is at C1 but glucuronate conjugates are beta glycosides hence the term beta glucuronides. This means that inversion of stereochemistry is involved in the glucuronidation reaction. The products of glucuronides are highly hydrophilic and water soluble compounds. 
UTP glucuronyl transferase is closely associated with cytochrome P450 enzyme so that phase 1 products of drugs are efficiently conjugated. Glucuronidation of one functional group usually suffices to effect excretion of the conjugated metabolite, diglucuronide conjugates do not usually occur. According to the heteroatom attached to the C1 atom of the glucuronyl group, four types of glucuronides are possible, namely O-glucuronides, N-glucuronides, S-glucuronides and C-glucuronides. Number 1. O-glucuronidation The most common compounds for O-glucuronidation have a hydroxyl group that is alcohol, phenol or carboxylic acid that lead to the formation of O-glucuronides. The glucuronides of alcohols and phenols are called ether glucuronides because an ether linkage is formed between the drug and glucuronic acid. Whereas the glucuronides of carboxylic acids are called ester glucuronides because the link between drug and the glucuronic acid is an ester. See the reactions given. A frequent metabolic reaction of phenolic xenobiotics is their glucuronidation to yield polar metabolites excreted in urine and or bile. A typical drug undergoing extensive glucuronidation is paracetamol. Another major group of substrates are alcohols, be they primary, secondary or tertiary. Medicinal examples include chloramphenicol and oxazepam. Another important example is that of morphine which is conjugated to its phenolic and secondary alcoholic group to form the 3-O-glucuronide which is a weak opiate antagonist and the 6-O-glucuronide which is a strong opiate agonist respectively. An important pathway of O-glucuronidation is the formation of acyl glucuronides. Substrates are acyl acetic acid for example diclofenac and aliphatic acids for example valproic acid. Aromatic acids are seldom substrates a noteworthy exception being diflunisol that yields both the acyl and the phenolic glucuronides. The significance of acyl glucuronides has long been underestimated perhaps because of the analytical difficulties. Indeed, these metabolites are quite reactive rearranging to positional isomers and binding covalently to plasma and seemingly also tissue proteins. Thus, acyl glucuronide formation cannot be viewed solely as a reaction of inactivation and detoxification. A special class of acyl glucuronides are the carbamoyl glucuronides. A number of primary and secondary amines have been found to yield this type of conjugate while as expected the intermediate carbamic acids are not stable enough to be characterized. Carvedilol is one drug exemplifying the reaction in addition to forming an O-glucuronide on its alcohol group and a carbazol N-linked glucuronide. Much remains to be understood concerning the chemical and biochemical reactivity of the carbamoyl glucuronides. Hydroxylamines and hydroxylamides may also produce O-glucuronides. Thus, a few drugs and a number of aromatic amines are known to be N-hydroxylated and then O-glucuronidated. The glucuronidation of N-hydroxy groups compete with O-sulfation but the reactivity of N-O-glucuronides to undergo heterolytic cleavage and form nitrinium ions does not appear to be well characterized. Aryl aliphatic acids such as the anti-inflammatory agents naproxen and phenoprofen are excreted primarily as their O-glucuronide derivatives in humans. Carboxylic acid metabolites such as those arising from chlorphenyramine and propranolol form O-glucuronide conjugates. Aryl acids for example benzoic acid and salicylic acid also undergo 
conjugation with glucuronic acid but conjugation with glycine appears to be a more important pathway for these compounds. Number 2. N-glucuronidation N-glucuronides can be formed from primary aromatic amines, tertiary aliphatic amines, carbamates and sulfonamides. See the general reactions which forms N-glucuronides. N-glucuronides may form spontaneously that is without the presence of an enzyme. Glucuronidation of aromatic and aliphatic amines is generally a minor pathway in comparison with N-acetylation or oxidative processes that is oxidative deamination. For example, the N-glucuronidation of carboxamides is exemplified by carbamazepine and phenytoin. In phenytoin, N-glucuronidation was found to occur at N3. The reaction has special significance for sulfonamides and particularly antibacterial sulfonamides such as sulfa dimethoxin since it produces highly water-soluble metabolites that show no risk of crystallizing in the kidneys. N-glucuronidation of aromatic amines has been observed in a very few cases only. For example, conjugation of the carbazol nitrogen in carvedilol. Another example is 7-amino phenytroimidazole. Similarly, there are a number of observations that pyridine type nitrogens and primary and secondary basic amines can be N-glucuronidated. See the general reactions given. As far as human metabolism is concerned, another reaction of significance is the N-glucuronidation of lipophilic basic tertiary amines containing one or two methyl groups. More and more drugs of this type, for example antihistamines and neuroleptics are found to undergo this reaction to a marked extent in humans, for example ciproheptadine, tripelenamide, etc. It has also been suggested that tertiary amines can form glucuronides giving quaternary nitrogen conjugates. Figure shows some examples of N-glucuronidation formation. Number 3. S-glucuronidation Thiol groups can react with UDP-GA in the presence of udp glucuronyl transferase to yield S-glucuronides. Because the thiol group does not commonly occur in drugs, S-glucuronide products have been reported for only a few drugs containing aliphatic and aromatic thiols that is thiophenols as well as dithiocarboxylic acids that is carbamic acids. For example, the thiol groups present in methimazole, propyl thiouracil and nn diethyl dithiocarbamic acid which is a major reduced metabolite of disulfiram undergo conjugation with glucuronic acid. An example of this is given in the figure with antabuse as a substrate. And number 4, C-glucuronidation. Direct attachment of glucuronic acid to the carbon skeleton that is relatively acidic carbons of drugs forms C-glucuronides. This reaction has been seen in humans for the drugs possessing 1,3-dicarbonyl group. For example, conjugation of phenylbutazone and sulfinpyrazone yield the corresponding C-glucuronide metabolites. Glucuronidation is involved in drug metabolism of the substances such as drugs, pollutants, bilirubin, androgens, estrogens, mineralocorticoids, glucocorticoids, fatty acid derivatives, retinoids and bile acids. Many drugs which are substrates for glucuronidation as part of their metabolism are significantly affected by inhibitors or inducers of their specific glucuronyl transferase types. All the above glucuronide conjugates are primarily excreted in the urine. However, as the molecular weight exceeds 500, biliary excretions may become an important route of elimination. Products of biliary excretion are deposited in the duodenum and may be excreted in the feces or reabsorbed by the intestines 
through enterohepatic recycling after hydrolysis by beta glucuronidases present in the intestines most glucuronides are hydrolyzed by beta glucuronidases however c glucuronides for example ethchlorvinol phenylbutazone etc and some quaternary amine glucuronides are stable to beta glucuronidase in neonates and children glucuronidation processes are often not fully developed in such patients drugs for example chloramphenicol and endogenous compounds like bilirubin which are normally glucuronidated may accumulate and cause serious toxicity inability of infants to metabolize chloramphenicol leads to gray baby syndrome characterized by ashen appearance developed soon after therapy starts it may be fatal to 40% of the neonates due to circulatory collapse and lastly glucosidation reactions that is conjugation with other sugars a few drugs have been observed to be conjugated to glucose in mammals this is usually a minor pathway in some cases where glucuronidation is possible in most species conjugation with glucuronic acid is by far the most important sugar conjugation but in insects conjugation with glucose is more prevalent the reaction is exactly analogous to glucuronide formation but udp glucose is used instead of udp glucuronic acid and glucosides are formed similar o glucosides n glucosides and s glucosides can be produced in these reactions such reactions are also of important in plants and have been found in mammals to a limited extent in certain circumstances udp xylose or udp ribose can be used giving the corresponding xyloside and riboside products n ribosides seem to be the most common and may form non enzymatically but o xylosides of bilirubin have been found and require a microsomal transferase enzyme for formation an example of n riboside formation is shown in the figure an interesting medicinal example is that some barbiturates such as phenobarbital that yield the n glucoside this is the list of references followed for the lecture that's all in this video the phase 2 conjugation reactions that is glucuronidation and glucosidation reactions in the next lesson we will discuss about the phase 2 sulfate conjugation reaction till then never stop learning and never stop watching my videos thank you for watching this video